Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be out here as usual in nature and bringing this message of self-realization to you. A message whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover your identity to be your divinity. So with all of that being said, I want to speak to you concerning the star of David or the six-pointed star of David and what it really represents. Now, most people have some religious belief of the star of David because most people believe that the Bible is a literal book or a religious book. But the Bible is not a religious book. The Bible actually addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. It is not literal, neither is it secular history. For it was written symbolically, and it has no reference to anyone who existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that would have taken place upon earth thousands of years ago. It's all a psychological jammer. From Genesis 1 to, Revel to Revelation 22, it's a psychological jammer. Now, everything is mental. Everything is psychological. It has to first be a thought. It has to first be imagined before it can be expressed. Even as I speak to you, you're hearing my words, but a word is an expression of a thought. So a word is a thought expressed. Now, the six-pointed star of David represents you. And it has a pyramid going upward and a pyramid pointing downward. The pyramid that is pointing upward is teaching you from faith to love. Teaching you how you have to have faith or belief within yourself. And when you believe in yourself and have the right concept of yourself, you will come to the pinnacle of the pyramid because you will come into a place of knowing who you are, why you're here, where you come from, and where you're going. And when you start stand at the top of the pyramid, it's because you have come to realize that you are the creator, you're the lord and master of your own destiny, and that you can create your reality consciously. And you have come to realize that God are the creator is your own human imagination, which is the creator in man. So from faith to perfect love. Faith is you being loyal to the unseen. For everything that you see in this world that you have to depend upon, it was first unseen and action was put to that which you cannot see and then you can contact it by the five senses. Thus the reason why you're told and the word became flesh. It is teaching you how your thoughts or your ideas would become a reality. Then there's an, a, a pyramid that is pointed downward that is teaching you from mentalism to gender. It is teaching you basically that some people are living in their lower self and some are living in their higher self. It is teaching you whereby some people are living in the realm of the animal, the animal level whereby they only live in the realm of where they can see, taste, touch and smell. But what do you possess or have that the animal doesn't have? Words and mind. So speech and mind is what put us in the place of God, our higher self. And we've been given dominion, power and authority over the animals and over everything else. Showing you that you're supposed to have dominion and power and authority over your life. And that you should be able to create your reality consciously. But there are those who are dwelling at that low level because they get themselves caught up in religion, superstition, and they go around with a tail, as in a T-A-L-E. And that tail is a burden. 
And unfortunately, many who looks like me believe in such ideology such as Jesus. And because they believe in such ideology, they end up in idolatry. And that kind of idolatry is keeping them in mediocrity, keeping them in limitation. Now, David represents humanity. David is not a man who existed thousands of years ago. And you can be either a fallen star or you can be a star that keeps its high position. You can either accept that you are spirit having a human experience or you can believe that you are human wanting to be spiritual. So everything goes right back to a, a choice. That's why in the middle of these two pyramids are crossing each other, the one that pointing down and the one that pointing upward, there's a space in the middle. There's a circle in the middle. When you went to school, they teach you to count from zero right up to nine. There's no number higher than nine. Nine is the highest number. And you must come to your nine power, which is the highest self, your Christ self. Then you'll be a true star of David. Then you will understand why this symbol is seen all around. And you will understand that it is speaking about you can either live the life of your higher self or you can stand in the statue of a perfect man because the pyramid represents the statue of a perfect man. And the, the one that is pointing down is showing you the statue of one who doesn't found it who haven't found their true identity one who's living a life in stupidity because they do not know that it is their own thoughts that is creating their reality that is why they believe in a power outside of themselves they believe in a god outside of themselves they believe that there's some power above them instead of looking within themselves thus the reason why many are still born in mental slavery because they do not realize that it is their own thoughts that is creating their reality and that they can create their reality consciously. So my brother and my sister, I'm teaching you that you're a creator and you can create your circumstances because man is not the creature of circumstances. Circumstances are the creatures of man. So my brother and my sisters, if you will start being religious, if you will start being superstitious, and if you stop holding on to the things that were taught to you as a little child in the school system, because the school system was used to give you an employee mentality, to chop you in a place of mediocrity and limitation. But I'm pointing you to discover your higher self. I'm teaching you how to discover wisdom and power. Not the power of Caesar, but the power of knowing who you are. So with that being said, you can now shine as a true star, a true star of David. And you know what you and you can now realize that it's not a symbol, it's a reality, and you can live that reality and shine as a true star and not a fallen star. Because every time you have a negative thought, every time you think of yourself as one who can do this or one who can do that, whenever you see yourself as being in poverty or seeing yourself being in lack you are living a life of a fallen star whenever you believe the things that were taught to you from your parents and from your school teachers and from your preachers you're living the life of a fallen star and you're being controlled therefore my brother my sisters i'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover your true identity and when you discover your true identity you will discover your divinity. So with that being said, I want to thank you very much and I want to encourage you to love or comment on this video or share this video. Also, what I want to bring across to you is that if you are resonating with what I am saying, then it is for you because it is not everyone that is ready for this kind of wisdom. Now, I always remind you that this message I bring to you is a single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6.22 teaches you that if your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. 
And I'm saying to you, when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. And that the sun, as in the S-U-N, is the giver of all life. And that without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. That's the reason why I always put my hand right above my crown chakra and give you the symbol of the single eye. Letting you know that when you have the experience, you come to realize why you're told that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing would he withhold from you. There's no good thing the sun as in the S-U-N would ever withhold from you. Therefore, when they told you that the S-O-N as in Jesus is the light of the world, that's a lie. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, as I always point to you, that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Therefore, my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your creative power, your God power, to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. You be the star of David. I'm out.